In this video, we're going to walk through how to show someone on the thank you page their score and also if they passed or failed. Now, not every quiz is going to have pass or fail, and um, not every time you're going to want to give someone a score. But in this case, in the case of the quiz we're looking at here, there is a score out of 100, and passing is 75. And so we want to show on the thank you page if they got 75 or above, we're going to tell them that they passed and tell them that they can go on to the next module. And if they got less than 75, we're going to tell them that they got less than 75 and that they need to go back and review the training content. In this case, they would go back and watch a training video again and then take the quiz. So as we look at the quiz, just going through a couple of things that have already been done, the questions have been set up, the grades have been set up. Um, so in the questions, points were added until there was 100 possible points. So you can see here under the grade section, grades by total score, the total score is 100. And then segments were created. I mentioned that they wanted passing to be 75 or above. So segments were created uh, that you can see between 0 and 74 points. It says failed chapter 1, module 1 quiz. And if I wanted to add a new segment, I could say pass chapter 1, module 1 quiz. Uh, and that would be between 75 and 100 points. Now that already exists, so I'm not going to save it, but you can see that's how I would set up my, my pass fail. So anyone who scores between 0 and 74 is going to fail. Anyone who goes uh, scores between 75 and 100 is going to pass. Now the next step is now that we have the points set up, I want to create recommendations or feedback to people based on their score. So I'm going to click on this recommendations icon on the left. And I can create recommendations based on individual answers or give feedback based on their specific responses. Uh, or, or and, I guess, I could also give feedback based on their grades. In this case, we're not going to give feedback based on their individual answers. Um, you could tell them this is what you got right, this is what you got wrong. But we just want to give them feedback based on the overall grade. So I'm going to click on grades. And I can see that I've got um, this this uh, module, fail chapter one, module one quiz between zero and 74, and the past chapter one, module one quiz between 75 and 100. And to the right, there's this little folder icon that's the action. And that, if I hover over it, it says add recommendation. So if I click on this here, I can add a recommendation for people who fail uh, module one. So I'm going to click enable recommendation. And then I'm going to put the text in here that I want them to see when they fail. So I'm just going to say, um, it looks like you um, didn't pass. And you can change this text to be whatever you want. It looks like you didn't pass. Go back and watch the training again. Or maybe I'll say review the training. Go back and review the training. Go back and review the training video. And then take the quiz again. So I'm just going to leave it very simple. You could be much more elaborate than this. Um, but when they don't pass, I'm going to say, it looks like you didn't pass. Go back and review the training and take the quiz again. So I'm going to save that. And then for pass, I am going to add a recommendation. Enable this recommendation. Congratulations. You passed. Um, you can move on to the next module. And then I might also say, click here to go to the next module. And if I do that, I would um, select all of that text, hit the hyperlink option, and then I would put the link in to the next module. So they could click right there and go to the next module. We won't go into too much detail on this, but in some membership site softwares, there are um, specific links that you can do to give people permission to go to the next module. So when they clicked on this, uh, the link would give them permission to access the next module. And the only way that they would ever see this link that gives them access to the next module would be because they pass the test and see this thank you page. So that's an advanced option uh, not to be covered in this training, uh, but something that you can do. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this for now. Um, just say, congratulations, you passed. You can move on to the next module 
and we will save that. So now there are recommendations created for people who failed and recommendations created for people who passed. I'm then, I'm then going to go to the customize section and go to the thank you page. And on the thank you page, I can add these recommendations in along with other text. So I am going to say on the thank you page, you scored and then there's a there's a series of merge fields and I click on merge fields there's a merge field for scoring and grades uh, and I'm gonna click this quiz score when I click on that it inserted quiz dot score which is the merge field for the quiz score so you scored quiz dot score out of 100 um, and then so if they scored 100 it will say you scored 100 out of 100 if they scored 40, it will say you scored 40 out of 100, and it will merge in their overall score. And um, below that, I want to put that recommendation based on whether they passed or failed. So I'm going to click on scoring and grades again, and there's a recommendation here. It says recommendation based on total quiz grade. That means they're going to get a rec, this is going to merge in that recommendation that you created based on their total quiz grade. So I'm going to put that. Um, quiz score dot recommendation is the merge field that got in, entered in there and if they pass they will see the recommendation for passing if they fail they will see the recommendation for failing so this is a custom thank you page whether based on whether they passed or failed so that's how I would set up the thank you page I could add more text in there or more text into the recommendations as we saw earlier but for basic setup I now have a thank you page that gives them their score and it gives them their recommendation, which tells them whether or not they passed or failed. Uh, and you can add additional merge fields like their specific responses, uh, feedback based on their responses. But for this example, we're just doing the score and if they passed or failed.